Good morning, algebra students. What we're going to continue working on today is Learning Target 8.1. And so by the end of this video, you should understand how to solve an absolute value function graphically when it's in the form like you see here in problem number two. So we're going to go through practice number five, problem two. So go ahead and open up your homework packets to this problem. All right, so what you notice here is that we have an absolute value function, but instead of y, we have negative 6. And the easiest way for me to solve this is to set up a system of equations. And what we're really looking for are the values of x when y is equal to negative 6. So here's what I'm going to think about instead. My first function is going to be y equals negative 3 absolute value of x minus 1. And then my second function is going to be y equals negative 6. Now I have a system, and I feel pretty confident that I can solve this if I have a system. So we're kind of breaking apart this one equation into two different equations so we can find an intersection point. So I'm going to go ahead and graph the first absolute value function using a table of values. Now looking at this absolute value function, my c value is negative 1, and I don't have a d value, which means it's 0. So the vertex of this graph is 1, 0, the opposite of c, d. And it looks like my a value is negative, so I'm going to be prepared that this absolute value graph is going to be a downward facing d. But it is a whole number, and I feel pretty good about that, so I'm going to just count x's by 1's on both sides of my vertex. And now, using my graphing calculator or by plugging in my x values, I'm going to complete my table. So if I go ahead and do that, what I get at 0 is y equals negative 3. If x equals negative 1, y equals negative 6. And on the other side of my vertex, these values are just going to reflect or repeat. So let's go ahead and plot this absolute value function. I'll start with my vertex at 1, 0. And then my points on both sides start to decrease. So 2, negative 3, 3, negative 6. And on the other side, same thing's going to happen. 0, negative 3, negative 1 negative 6. So I have, just as I predicted, downward facing v. That v does not look great, but we'll take it. So now I'm going to move on and look at my second function, which is y equals negative 6. The slope is 0. It's a horizontal straight line where y equals negative 6. Just like that. And right away, I can identify my intersection points. I have one here, and I have one here. This coordinate is negative 1, negative 6. This coordinate is 3, negative 6. You can also see these in the table, where y equals negative 6. So I already know I wanted y to equal negative 6. And again, my solution are just my x values where that happens. So x equals negative 1 and x equals 3. And I just solved a system of equations, let alone an absolute value function, graphically. So now it's time to turn to some practice. As he says, time to do work. See you later.